Ooh, last Friday I did a duel with Mr. Excel. We had some data here and we needed to add all of the numbers based on a set of criteria. Now, Mr. Excel and I did formulas in VBA, but Bill from YouTube posted an amazing solution. And it's so good we have to do amend that trick number 54. Are you ready for this? Well, the first thing you always do when you get something like this is recognize the pattern. What do we need to extract to match against criteria? One, two, three, four, five. The fifth character, that's our starting position, and then one, two, three. That will get the DDW, the TBS, et cetera. But what would happen if we did that, meaning we used the mid function and took the fifth character and went three here? There'd be nothing. That's the perfect way to match against this cell here. So watch. We'll use the mid, the text. We're going to give it the whole column. That makes this a function argument array operation. F4 to lock it, comma, start number. That's going to be 5, comma, 3, close parentheses. When I highlight this F9, you've got to be kidding me. It grabs all of the criteria from this column, including a double quote, double quote for nothing, a null text string, which will match perfectly down here. Control-Z, let's just check this out. Equals this. Right now, if I F9, we can see we get all our trues for TBS. Control-Z, now I'm just going to enter this Control-Shift-Enter, copy it down, and evaluate this. Are you kidding me? Look, there's the criteria empty cell, F9. It got a true exactly in the fifth position. That will work. What do we have to do? Come up here. We still need to get all of the numbers, right? One, two, three, four. So we say, I'm going to put parentheses around this to force that equal sign to calculate before this multiplying. We do left, whoops, times left. Highlight the whole column, F4, comma, and we're going to extract four characters. Now, if we highlight F9, we could see we get all of the numbers, including a 0 for criteria that's not matched for this situation. Control Z, I'm going to put this in sum product. And now watch this. I usually do SUMP tab, but what would happen? Notice we have a parentheses already in our formula. If you hit tab to enter this, it's annoying. It actually steals that parentheses. So when you're hitting tab and there's already a parentheses there, you have to remember to type an extra parentheses. Look like I hit the multiplication. All right, now I come to the end. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Are you kidding me? Man, I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Another awesome formula from Bill. All right, see you next trick.